What up, everybody? Derek with Big D's Pythons. Um, just want to say thank you all for your subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me as well on my content. I hope you like all my content. If you don't like it, oh well. But this is my intro, so let's get to it. <laughs> What is up everybody? Derek with Big D's Pythons and today I'm making a video that someone has been waiting for. Ask me about it all the time. I'll wait to see his comment in the video to say who but today I'm making my video on my incubator I built. So like two years ago I bought an incubator from Nature Spirit. Um, phenomenal incubator. Love it. Um, and it was about $550 for this incubator. It hold, held uh, eight tubs, um, which, you know, you can fit, you know, eight eggs maybe in the tubs. Okay. And uh, that was it. Um, so I was going to buy another one for my following season. I was going to have a lot more than eight clutches. Um, so then I got a hair up my butt and decided to kind of reverse engineer a Nature Spirit Incubator. Looked at how they built it, um, and then figured, let me price out what I could do. And so I went and bought PVC board, um, four by eight sheets, and I bought closet uh, racks, the white, you know, hanging racks for your closet, and uh, bought my heat tape. And uh, I made a four foot by pretty much four feet by four feet all the way around uh, incubator. Um, I forget how many tubs I can fit in there, but I can hold 480 eggs. I don't know why I remember that, but I remember that. Um, and at the time, uh, the material cost me $450. So it was $100 cheaper for quadruple the size, or at least the amount of eggs or uh, tubs inside the incubator. And uh, let me show you. So here's the front, and right, I put it on wheels and all that, lifted it off the ground. Here's my door. Okay, don't mind all my awesome stickers. Um, one thing I do recommend that I wouldn't do next time is I put a window in, and uh, I probably next time wouldn't do that, um, just because uh, I kind of want to try doing it without light getting in, because then you probably don't got to worry about mold, most likely. But I put these latches on for my locks. Little door handle right here. And bam. And then so I put a uh, refrigerator seal around the edge to seal it all in. Um, and then along the inside as well. And then I got heat tape just on the bottom because uh, I put back heat tape behind that wall. So I built a recessed wall. Okay, with a little gap on the side to allow air to come through. With the fan, this fan sucks in. All right. Yes. No. This fan blows out. Sorry. 
and this fan up here sucks in. And behind that, the whole back wall is heat tape, uh, 12 inch wide heat tape going down. And it just circulates, got a very nice circulation in here. Um, I set the incubator to 90 um, and inside my incubator tub, or my tubs, oh my, there's hatchlings in here. My tubs, um, it's about 89.6 is what I like to incubate at. So um, what I do, what I recommend doing is uh, so you see how I have that gap back there? Something I will change for when I move and redo this is I would put up a mesh or a screen, whatever. So like I've had hatchings get out of tubs. Um, so, and then they go back behind that wall and then you just gotta wait for them to come out. So I would put a mesh so that does not happen. So that way they'd just be in here, you know, on the bottom somewhere. Um, all my wires are wired up together um, and then I sealed it all with a uh, caulk. Um, I got my water, they're all knocked over, but I got my water jugs in here um, just in case power goes out. It'll help hold temperature in here when I have eggs. I got to add some more. Um, but here's all my three rows of shelving and if anything I can make a little shelf on the bottom if I run out of room to add more tubs. But I love this thing. It's worked great. Um, I've never had issues in this incubator at all. Um, yep. And let me, I don't know, it takes anywhere. I mean, this actually, this incubator, I've hatched out eggs at 49, 50 days. Um, I don't know why it incubates them faster, but maybe it's because of the good air circulation and the heat in there. And like I said, it's 89.6 inside my tubs but it's a monster like i love this thing and when i move out of this house and i move to georgia i gotta take it completely apart because it will not fit through anything which is fine because then it allows me to redo that gap and uh i would add more support on the bottom um i got a piece of wood going across here and i got a piece of wood on the top up here to keep the frame uh, but i would just add more just for my own secured purpose you know um and again i wouldn't put this window in but then, I don't want those babies getting cold. That was my last clutch, that Crizzle clutch, which they're doing great. And then I also, when I first did it, um, before I added the heat tape on the bottom in there, uh, it's, it wasn't holding the heat enough. It, it wasn't hitting the temperature I wanted, which I wanted 89.6 in my tubs. Uh, so what I did is I went Home Depot and I bought this cheap little insulation foam and I just wrapped it around it. So it's not on the, uh, it's on the top and it's on the side and it's on the very back. It's just not on the bottom. Um, and it's perfect. Um, what I will do when I do take this apart is I'm going to buy more PVC board and pretty much just wrap it in it so it holds it off so it looks better. And then I can add more stickers or do whatever to it. But that's my baby. She's massive. And let me show you. Uh, oops, sorry. Trying to perch up my phone here, which isn't working out too good. Oh, right here. So I'm pretty sure I'm in frame, and if you see it, I'm six one. So she's big. I like it. It's awesome. It does the job. Uh, I don't know, it's the best money spent that i've done with uh doing my own uh like duis or di duis <laughs> diys that's great i'm gonna catch shit for that watch but yeah it's it's phenomenal um the, it's all held in by uh, drywall screws and then like i said i cocked all the corners and all the seams and uh knock on wood i've never had an issue with it ever and uh Right now, it's actually been running since last season because of all the clutches and then my surprise clutch. And um, I just haven't moved the babies out, but they've all had their meals and have shed twice now. Uh, actually, I think they're about to do their third. But yeah, uh, I love it. It's awesome and it's money well spent instead of buying a smaller incubator for that price. 
it's much easier to do it yourself um so if anybody's in interested in exactly how much material i got you know and my dimensions of it and all that just hit me up message me um, i have it all written down and i'll let you know exactly what i did with it and uh, you know what i bought for it all right so yeah let me uh let me turn this around there we go so yeah there it is and uh thanks for watching this um i know some people will be really excited because they've been waiting for this and uh don't forget um well i don't know if i'm doing thirsty thursdays tomorrow i might be doing something else which i can't say anything about yet um but you may either way you will see me tomorrow um and then don't forget hair down fridays the big big giveaway you have to be there to win okay you have to be there and all you gotta do is be in the chat and be talking and uh, i'm pretty sure that's how you get entered for everything um not everything but for a lot of the prizes so hair down friday big big giveaway tomorrow's thirsty thursdays or maybe um if anything it'll be really late uh, again and mike will be doing it uh with whomever uh will be on with him um i will try to start it depending on what time i get done with what else i have to do um but yeah that's it so thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe check out my reels too please on youtube on ig um i need to reach thousand subscribers i'm trying i'm trying to put out reels every day now uh, to get people to start following me and watch all my other content uh so yeah like share subscribe thanks for watching big d's out